All right. We are back. It's a couple days later. April Fool's has passed already, so I have no fear in uh, making people think that I'm not uh, doing what I need to be doing. <laughs> I got my jollies out with that little Homestar Runner thing. Mm. So we are back to working on uh, a few more of the background characters that you all donated for. Uh, for the upcoming Tome A2Z compilation movie, the second one, called Two Lives. So, uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, play some Kirby music and uh, get to work. I'm going to try to do uh, this many, this whole little batch here, um, which I think is like 18? Let me see. 5, 10... 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, 18. So we'll see if I can do that many today. And uh, we'll go from there. So, alrighty. Welcome, guys. Go ahead and pile in. I'll probably do some Q&A as uh, the chat fills up.
Jonathan Vo, yes, I've not played the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog yet. Um, I was going to play it with some friends yesterday, but we uh, did not get to do that because one of them had a power outage, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll be getting to it soon. I saw that uh, Mac was, was playing it on his stream a little while ago, if I'm not mistaken. They killed Sonic, Chris, in cold blood. Yeah, I remember when Mephiles did that shit, like, you know, 15 years ago at this point. More than that. It's been done. No, it looks fun. I, I heard uh, I heard really good things about it. Um, I love the art. I love that uh, Sonic Channel kind of uh, style artwork. So, I'm sure it'll be fun for a, for a quick browse. What were we up to? Let's see. 
This is 134. You caught over 20 shiny Pokemon throughout March, Anonymous Boy? Good lord. You are a shiny hunter if I have ever fucking seen one. The only shiny Pokemon I've ever had in my life, um, I got through a cheat device, sadly. <laughs> I got a shiny Celebi. It was the only Celebi that I ever owned. Um, back in like, I don't know, like, middle school, I think. Hardest level in Super Mario Galaxy? Oh man, I'd have to go back and think. Um, I was about to say the uh, the Pachinko Machine, but that's, that's Sunshine. Uh, I don't know. Mario Galaxy... The, Mario Galaxy 2 I went back and I replayed twice all the way through because I, I liked it so much. But uh, I don't know what the hardest one is. Welcome everybody who was able to make it to uh, this one. Yeah, sorry, I know I did uh, the previous one a little bit later than I usually stream. Um, but uh, back during kind of regular hours again this time, so I hope that's all right. See, Raccoon's got it wrong. When he calls me a marshmallow man, this right here, this is a marshmallow man. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Tristar, is this your character, the marshmallow-looking dude? I don't know if he is actually a, a marshmallow or if I'm just assuming that based on his appearance, in which case I'm sorry if I harshly judged him based on his appearance. Can I say a Raygen line? Uh, I charge 250 an hour with a two-hour minimum for that. That's not even true. I charge 130 an hour with a two hour minimum for that. Marshmallow away. Ah, good. Excellent.
personal opinion about the Oculus Quest 2. Uh, I don't have one. I actually don't, believe it or not, despite the fact that I've made a cartoon about uh, virtual reality, uh, never owned a VR headset. In fact, I'll even tell you guys a um, little, little inside scoop about uh, the upcoming Tome A2Z movies. Um, so I, uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, I was filming, you know, some live action stuff for some of the new footage that's going to be, uh, in the upcoming ones. And, um, particularly for, uh, for some of that, and you might have, if you were sharp-eyed, you might have caught this in um, the little preview that we gave before, but uh, it involves the real-life player behind Kerbifer and Zeto, you know, um, putting on his, his VR headset to kind of, you know, enter the game. And uh, because I don't own any VR tech, uh, Corey Holland, who helped me film those scenes, uh, had to bring over his Oculus Quest, so that was the first time in a while I'd even had the headset on at all, um, cause I'm just so not even used to, to playing around with it anyway. OV best geneticist, will people who get a character be able to get an isolated GIF or PNG of their character? Uh, unfortunately not. As much as I would love to be able to provide that for everyone, um, it's, uh, it's quite a long process. Um, and, uh, I, I don't unfortunately have the time to do that for everybody. Um, so I'm sorry about that. If you want to grab, uh, like a screen cap of your character and, uh, have it for an icon or anything, you're, you're more than welcome to do that. Um... But, uh, yeah, otherwise, unfortunately, I, I don't have the time to export them all as uh, individual um, PNGs or GIFs for you. Sorry about that.
Oh, did I already do a priestess red fox and a craft blue raccoon fox? Uh, yes, I did them yesterday. If those are your two characters, let me go find them. Here they are. Did this guy right here tried to follow the instruction on the uh, the instructions on the outfit as best as I could. And uh, here's the priestess girl as well. What's up, Danny Page? Thanks, everybody. Yeah, those of you who uh, have never made it to a stream before, I'm uh, glad to know that this is uh, <laughs> a more convenient time for y'all. When I start streaming the uh, Mega Man Battle Network collection, I'm going to try to do those uh, kind of earlier in the day. So... Oh, saw your gal on the thumb, so you assume uh, already done too. Oh, Miss Bug, ninety eight. What was uh, what was your character? I can go back and uh, scroll through that if you want. Do I play horror games? Uh not not all that much. Sad to say. I'm a big chicken, so I'm too scared. I hear that uh, Resident Evil 4 remake is uh, quite good, though, from what uh, people have been saying. In the RPG canon, are the players viewing the game through POV or V, or does anyone see it in, uh, everyone see it in an isometric way? Um, oh, that's a good question. Ooh. Thank you to the new uh, $10 patron that just joined. Thank you very much. Um, 
I don't know, actually. I, I It's funny, I don't think I ever really, like... Because it wasn't a big uh, plot element in that version, um, I never, like, 100% settled on that. I want to say maybe... Maybe, maybe a POV view would make the most sense? I don't know. Yeah, undecided, I guess. It's funny, because, like, in that version, the, you know, the if you die in the game, you die for real elements were so minimal that time that uh, it just never really came up. Is it optional? Yeah, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Quick tone question. Could Alpha have lost the forbidden power by making a new account slash character? Kind of confused if it attached himself IRL or in the game. See, I know that if I answer this, I'm sure I probably talked about this a bit in um, maybe the fact bubbles. I'm sure probably part of it was just the like, oh, if he just made a new account, then like, you know, that's the Saban answer of then I wouldn't have a fucking show. Um... But I, I don't I don't know. Uh, it, I, I think that it was also just like it was affecting his subconscious, you know? So maybe it would have followed him even if he made a new account or something. Um, I don't know. And truthfully, a, an idea that I could have played with more was the idea um, of... Uh, you know, having like, uh, like he he would he would switch accounts and then somebody else would like you know hack into his old account and update it and you know use it, you know for for ill or, or something like that. Um, but uh, you know, of course, my 2010 2011 writing brain was not as advanced back then, so you know, oops. Oh, the cyborg with the wolf hat. Oh, yes. Uh, where was she? Here, she? here she was, right? There you go. This was a fun adaptation. No problem, Breaker Beam. 
personal opinion about the Saw movies. I've only seen Saw 2, I think. So, and it was scary. I think it was Saw 2. Thoughts on uh, Del Toro's Pinocchio. I have not seen it yet, and you know what? I need to. I remember when I first heard about it, I, I wasn't really all that interested. And then um, I heard more about kind of the feel he was going for. And uh, as well as um, the look of it. It was uh, it was really cool. Um, and, and of course, obviously, I, you know, much respect for him you know, standing up to, uh, saying that animation is a, a medium and not a genre, um, so that people will, you know, maybe start to take things a little more seriously, uh, yeah, I should definitely go, uh, Check that out at some point for sure. Can you please fucking call her in, the love of God? Thank you. What character design do I despise the most? Oh god. I don't know. Anyone that's like really, really like hyper fucking detailed to draw are usually like not so much fun. think of one specifically that like I really despise Dust Bunny boss was annoying in tome. Still love the game though. Yeah, if it's the one you're talking about on the the ice level, that was definitely designed to be super fucking hard, so that you would probably lose. Um, because I did want to have, you know, the uh, the idea of oh, you know, if you lose a battle, then uh, it's okay, and you can still go get back something that you missed out on. And then there's you know different things that come as a result of. Uh, winning or losing as, uh, as a result of that, um, kind of the different outcomes and everything.
Does Kizuna deep down find the curve design cute like kinder spirit? I don't know. I feel like uh, Kizuna would be the type of person to like prefer Zeto like as he is because she associates him. Yeah, she would probably associate Zeto with like the person that she knows and cares about. And like Kerbifer is kind of this, you know, foreign entity that uh, uh, is not connected to like her connection to him. And uh, so I think that even regardless of what she'd think of the design, she'd just be too kind of like, her her opinion would be too colored by that. You know what I mean? Willow. Oh, is this Willow? She's very cute. still here. Ooh, thanks to another $10 patron for joining. Much appreciated. Uh, do you mean... <laughs> Steven Surges, do you mean this character or this character looks like your mom? Because if it's this one, uh... <laughs> Oh, Blitz, just to, uh, just to explain, uh, no, so these things I'm drawing right now are, uh, are not, uh, Patreon rewards. I just launched a Patreon yesterday, and, uh, I'm slowly having people, uh, oh, which, speaking of which, there's another $10 Patreon, uh, patron, thank you for joining. Um, I guess, you know what, fuck it, I'll go ahead and announce Thank you to uh, Rachel Rembecki, Faith Derrico, and Celtic Guardian for joining as $10 patrons. Uh, really appreciate that. Um, no, these are for uh, the donations. Whoops. Crap. Oh, God. I don't 
Wait. Did I? Oh. Hold up. Uh. Oh. Oops. I didn't even know that was happening. Uh. Remove. Jesus. Anyway. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know how the hell that happened. Um. No, these are for, uh, these are for the donations that were given for, um, uh, the Tome A2Z trilogy of movies, which I had, uh, some open PayPal donations for, um, over the last few months. And, um, yeah, some very nice fans went and, uh, donated different amounts to get uh, their own background characters to appear in the upcoming uh, compilation films, which was very cool and much appreciated for that. But uh, yeah, no, I just uh, launched a Patreon um, for uh, for myself yesterday, and um, I'll probably talk about that maybe when we take a break in a little while. But uh, yeah, if you'd like to check it out, there's a link uh, right here on screen and in the, in the video description as well, uh, if you're interested. Please uh, go ahead and take a look, but I'll talk about a little bit of that uh, maybe when, when we take a break later. Ophelia, the girl of all time. How are there only 200? Uh, yeah, currently I've got... 21 patrons uh, Which is pretty good, you know just to start start off with hopefully that will uh, continue to grow fake fan I've yet to pick up the RPG that's all right TriStar uh, if you do get the chance to pick it up I hope you enjoy it we worked super hard on it it is uh, I think currently about 20 bucks on Steam we lowered the price uh, I think maybe at the beginning of this year or maybe even last year I can't quite remember but uh, yeah so it's a little more affordable now if you'd still like to uh, maybe pick it up for yourself at some point If someone wanted their character in a specific pose, could they go about asking for one? If so, how? Um, I think any uh, particular kind of um, uh, pose would have been pointed out in like the initial email that was sent. Um, usually, I go with something pretty close to like how the original drawing is, and maybe I might, you know, take a, a few of my own liberties if something I think might look nice uh, in a certain way or whatever, you know.
You know what is frustrating to me? I, okay, maybe somebody can explain this to me. So, however the hell that just happened where it was like showing my 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 tabs for some fucking reason. Um, see, I would go back and I would just cut that out. Just because, like, it's like, oops, that's a flub. And I don't think it, it showed anything, like, you know, inappropriate or whatever. But, like, I don't know. I wish that you could do that. But for some fucking reason on YouTube, when you want to make an edit to uh, a stream archive, uh, you have to, like, re-upload it as a whole separate video, which is such a fucking pain in the ass. Um... Because I think that's happened a couple times where I'm like, oh, can I just, like, edit this one part or whatever? And it, like, it won't let you do that. And I'm like, well, that blows. You know, when it, when it's other videos, like, if I if I needed to go back and, like, you know, censor something or take something out or, or whatever, like, it's, it's not an issue at all. But, yeah, for some reason with streams specifically, it's like, no. And I'm like, what? All right. So I don't get it. It's a little, a little annoying. Honestly, I was kind of surprised to realize you didn't have a Patreon already when you first talked about it. Yeah, no, I, I, um, I had mentioned, uh, the stream I did a couple days ago. Um, the main reason that I hadn't, uh, done a Patreon previously is, um, because I'd usually be doing a crowdfunding campaign for whatever kind of the major project I was working on at that time was. So... I just felt it kind of made more sense to, uh, to stick with that. Um, and it's probably pretty likely that whenever I get, uh, you know, a little more underway with the production of Balancing Act, uh, I will probably do a Kickstarter to go with that as well. But the thing is, and as evidenced by, you know, the work of how everything went with the game, um, usually when I do crowdfunding campaigns, it's, I'm raising money to pay everybody else that isn't me. Um, it's very rare that I'm actually making, like, like even the stuff that I upload to my YouTube, like um, most of the money that I made off of doing the Tomes series, uh, that was, um, that was uh, just mainly off of like the ad revenue and like occasionally when we would do like, you know, contest events and you know, raffles and whatever, like, you know, anything else that was kind of like, or back when I was able to actually do merch, which, you know, I would love to be able to do merch again. Um, but, uh, yeah, like otherwise, like usually it was going to the people that were helping me. In fact, uh, in this particular case, doing all these, um, these background characters, uh, I'm using some of this money to, uh, to pay the people who have been helping me, like in the previous, uh, um, the previous uh, A2Z film, I had uh, Andy Valiance helping me with some uh, lip sync animation, and uh, like I'm going to be paying Corey to help with editing uh, some of the new live action stuff that's um, coming up. And uh, yeah, but for the most part, this is going to me, and this is really just going towards like my life expenses, um, like just to just to pay my fucking rent. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going out and buying, you know, fancy cars or some shit with this money. <laughs> Ooh, fancy pants. I'm watching the stream while on break doing man uh, mandatory military training because the country demands it, but I don't want to. Oh, fancy pants. Thank you for your, uh, your service. I uh, very much appreciate that. Ooh. Ooh. Why the N64 style for the VTuber model? Nostalgic? Yeah, pretty much. I really love the low-poly 3D aesthetic. Um, I'm personally a, a, a big, big fan of that. So I thought, hey, you know what? That, that's kind of the style that I'd like to go with. I was thinking about um, doing graphics uh, for a, uh, a 2D one. I actually made a test kind of model of the, the RPG version of uh, Kerbifer um, that I have, like, somewhere. Uh, 
And um, actually, Andy Faylands uh, helped with uh, rigging that, as a matter of fact. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought a 3D low poly one would be kind of unique and cool, and uh, I really like it. So, yeah, big thanks to Germ Gen uh, for uh, helping to uh, model this. Expressions make the model even better. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh, the right eye is blue. Oh, oh, for her? Oh, sorry about that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, let me go ahead and... Uh fix that up sorry yeah because I see that's the case for the other character that I'm assuming is yours so I'll go ahead and make that adjustment sorry about that there we go V-Mouth is a lovely touch. Yeah, I figured that was uh, <laughs> kind of a fun little uh, little thing. It's a cute, it's a cute mouth shape. I always appreciate it. So did to see Aqua Drop in your style. Yes, I believe if that is this character, I will. I think be getting to her this stream, unless something crazy comes up, which hopefully it won't. It's on Meat Canyon. I've seen some of his cartoons. They're pretty funny. He's got a very unique uh, animation style for sure. upside down star yeah or like a palm tree <laughs> palm tree is always the joke I used to make about how his hair looked Changing the pattern just a little tiny bit for the shoulders, hope that's okay. Just to make the separate arm animation a little simpler to do.
I love this song. This song reminds me of uh, the, the Mischief Makers music a little bit. Patreon's a really good idea. Give us a way to donate between projects. Yes, I appreciate that. And hopefully in the future, uh, it will be to uh, donate to help aid a specific project because what I would love to do um, in tandem with it is uh, have it be um, uh, kind of alongside uh, my production of Balancing Act. So here's hoping. Uh, Lucas Star Lumen, I was mentioning this earlier. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the time to um, send everybody individual uh, gifts or pictures of their characters. I wish I could, um, but I don't have time, and it is also very rough on my arms to uh, go through and do that for all of these. So I'm really sorry about that. But if you would like to take a screen cap uh, of your character, either from this stream or from... Uh, uh, the finished movie or anything, and you want to use it as an icon, please, please, by all means, go right ahead and do that. What is my most hated pot, uh, body part to draw? Oh, God. Yeesh. Uh, you know what? Not that I hate it, but one that I'm still struggling with is, uh, and, I, and I promise I don't mean anything gross by this, is uh, drawing feet, um, like, like toes and stuff. Like, that's, that's difficult. Um, oh, he has a horn. Oh, I didn't... Okay, sorry about that. Thank you again for catching that. There we go. Uh, no, no, no worries. No, not being picky. Want to make sure I'm uh, getting them as correct as I can. These are cool. I like the uh, kind of cotton candy uh, ice cream kind of thing going on with these two. Is what is what their their colors uh, invoke in my mind, which is one of my favorite ice cream flavors. So, um, oh sorry, don't please ignore my facial expressions if I'm saying something, because <laughs> I'm pre they're currently mapped to my my uh, numpad on my uh, my keyboard. I don't have a proper uh, stream deck yet. Um, I'll hopefully be getting one from uh, Chocovania. She said she was going to give me uh, one of her older ones at some point. So. Ooh. Thank you, uh, Disillaneous, for upgrading your pledge on uh, Patreon. That's very kind of you. Your favorite dum dum flavor? Oh, like the little lollipops? I haven't had those in years. Yeah, cotton ca candy flavored stuff is awesome. Still struggle with hands. Zig X run. Yeah, they can they can be difficult. I've tried to make them more and more fun. I try to stylize them a lot more now, you know what I mean?
Apologize in advance that Soul doesn't wear shoes. That's eh, fine. I mean, I need to practice. I've been trying to. I've been trying to to, to practice better uh, anatomy and different body types and things. I would say the body types of the. Um, it's funny, even though they're more realistic, uh, you know, human characters. I've tried to make the um, the body types and uh, anatomy of uh, the four balancing acts kind of main characters uh, a lot more kind of individualized and interesting looking compared to uh, the main cast of Tome, I would say. There we go. Sounds like the Net King theme, doesn't it? Also, hi, uh, Merdra Bol Voltier. Welcome. Ah, uh, hands. The worst friend of many an artist. That's why Curb cheats and gives his character mitten hands. Haha. -ha. It wasn't a cheat. It was a, it was a stylistic choice to, to do that. Because I just thought it looked kind of cute for him. Cotton candy flavored things are neat, but actually candy gets stuck in my teeth and feels awful. Yeah, I try to chill out on candy a lot more in uh, my, my recent years. Once in a while, I'll, I'll indulge with a little treat. Maybe I'll get something, uh, some nice chocolatey stuff for Easter or something. We'll see. Check my YouTube homepage. I did the art for Squid Melody. Yes, I did. That was uh, one of the first times that I got to work with Yoav, actually. The Living Tombstone. Oh my god. How did I come up with the name Balancing Act? I believe it was in late high school or maybe early college. Um, it was originally, well, okay. Oh God, I don't think I've ever talked about this before, but so it was originally called, um, when I was, you know, like really, really young, it was just like, you know, Chris Neosi adventures. I was like 10, okay? <laughs> um, then uh, it was weirdly enough, and this was this was very amusing to me when um, uh, Steven Universe did this. Then it was Chris Neosi Future. That was like the kind of Z era of it. <laughs> um, and uh, then when I started taking it seriously as like, oh, I'm going to actually do something with, with, with this someday. I need to come up with an actual you know, proper name for it. So, uh, for a time, it was, uh, it was Five Star Future, because there were my kind of, uh, equivalents of, of the Dragon Balls, these kind of, you know, like, MacGuffin items were these, uh, these five, uh, Star Stones, totally not a ripoff of the seven stars from Mario RPG. So it was Five Star Future, then it was Five Star Chronicle for a while, uh, then it was... Five Star Mana. For a pretty decent while, it was Five Star Mana. That was, uh, I think, throughout most of high school, that was, like, the name that I was taking pretty seriously. Yeah, you know what? I think it was in in college. And and coming up with the actual name balancing act, I, I'm trying to recall. I know that it was definitely about, like, a, um, 
you know, it, it was a nod to being about like sort of a spiritual uh, balance was was the idea behind that. Um, and uh, and I also I thought like the word act was cool, you know, like like taking action, and um, and also uh, you know like kind of played in with like you know like you're balancing on a tightrope to you know keep. Uh, mentally stable, which is funny because as the stories evolved and I've, you know, kind of really honed in on what the, the story's about, um, that name is more, uh, more fitting than ever, actually, um, which is pretty cool, so, but yeah, uh, Raisin Chris, oh, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, and, uh, I stuck with that, I did, I did think of one other alternative name, uh, a number of years ago that is related to, um, Something else in the plot that I won't get into, but I was ultimately told, like, nah, stick with Balancing Act. And I'm like, okay, so. Thus it has stayed. Will there be a Discord for the Patreon, Kasai Okami? So, not currently. I was kind of wrestling with that idea a little bit. Um, I have put thought into the possibility of doing that in the future. But not at the moment. But but I think that that's something. Again, especially if I get underway with balancing act, and I'll have like you know like a uh, a Discord where you can go in and you know see behind the scenes stuff or something. If I go full indie with it, um, probably something like that. So cheating on hands is giving Zeta the giant cannon in season two. So now he only has eight fingers in total. <laughs> that's true. Didn't Curb start out with, like, nub or nubs for arms way back then? Yes, when he was a Kirby. Yes, that's what he looked like. <laughs> Every time Curb mentions balancing out, to get giddy with excitement. I'm glad. I'm really glad. I, I, I know that there's very little that you guys know about it at the moment, but, uh, and, I, and I'd love to tell you more about it, but I really don't want to spoil the story too much until, um, you know, I've got something to, uh, excuse me, excuse me, until I get to a point with, uh, showing stuff for it in its current uh current design which which will hopefully be you know in, in the near future um like i said I'm, I'm waiting to get uh sort of feedback from writers on uh the draft of the script that i did and um you know and then make some adjustments and then we'll we'll see what happens we'll see what happens so keep it tuned Can't tell if Curb is bedroomized in that last thumbnail or if uh, he hasn't slept in three days. It could be whatever you want it to be, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Um, have you started to consider what voice actors you want for Balancing Act? Oh, yes, I have. In fact, I have been doing that for uh, many, many years. And uh, I certainly have a cast picked out. Um, but, uh, you know, there's no recording started or anything. We're not nearly up to that point yet, but, uh, I, uh, I'm hoping to get the people, I'm hoping that I can get everybody that I want, because, uh, there's a lot of people in it that, uh, or a lot of people that I would like to have be in it that, uh, I've never gotten to work with before that, uh, I'm hoping I can, uh, manage to get on the project, so... Sorry if it's rude to ask, since I know you said it would be a strain on your health to send the completed characters out, but maybe exceptions could be made for $10 patrons as added incentive? Uh, well, because the, the Patreon is a little bit of a separate thing from this, um, and I don't necessarily want to make, you know, special exceptions for people, um, because I've only just started this, uh, so I'm sorry about that. 
But again, please feel free if you want to take any screenshots and, you know, when I, when I integrate. Because actually something that I will stream as well, when I finish up all of these, uh, I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to put them in the movie. Uh, I'm going to show you, uh, like, directly where I'll be placing them in the scene, so uh, you can even grab, uh, you know, some close-ups of that if you want. I love this guy's kind of like fluffy, like pillow shoes. They look so comfy. They remind me of like the, um, those like moon shoes or whatever. Am I, am I thinking of the right thing? Have I seen Trigun Stampede? Uh, no, Gortunes, I've not seen it yet. I hear it's awesome. I've seen some clips of it. It looks like a ton of fun. Um,. But, uh, no, I haven't gotten to check it out yet. Imagine Curb saying, Poyo! Poyo! Is that a new project I'm working on? Balancing Act is the next uh, kind of big scale project that I would like to uh, be working on, yes. Um, it is a uh, currently a, a movie concept. Uh, it's an IP that I've had for years. Uh, it predates Tom by quite a while. Um, so, uh, I'm hoping that I will be getting to that soon. I spent most of last year working on the script for it, and I spent uh, a lot of time on character designs that I was doing with uh, Toxic Soul as well. They look pretty great. But, uh, yeah, it's still very early stages. Whoops. Sorry, Soda Girl, or uh, Slurpy Girl. Curb thirst trap. <laughs> Hi! Oh, sorry, hold on. Hi! There you go. Do I have any experiencing drawing uh, dinosaurs? Uh, T Bones and Grounda from, <laughs> from uh, uh, the Tome RPG when I made them into uh, full dinosaurs, you know. Season 2 Curb was pretty emo since his hair didn't stick up. That's true. Do I take commissions for art outside of my animations? Uh, this was actually the first time in a while that I've done any kind of commissions. I did this batch, the batch that was at the end of last year, and then also back in, I think it was the fall of last year? Something like that? Um, and, uh, yeah, um, but for art, uh, sometimes I will, like, occasionally. I, I've done some, uh... Uh, what's it called? I've done some print commissions for some of my voice actor friends. Um, which, uh, I actually have a few more of those to do at some point soon. Um. Curb plush when Kasayokami. I 
would love to do a Kerbifer plushie. Show of hands. In fact, no, you know what? Hold on, I'll do, I'll do a poll. Uh, how do you do a poll? How do you do a poll? Start a poll. Which Kerbifer would you want to see a plushie of? Okay, vote, everybody. Which version of Kerberfer would you guys like to see as a plushie if there was one to be made? Would you like to see the current version that you see right here, this one right here, uh, or the RPG version, or the Season 1 uh, uh, 2011 tome version, or the Season 2 2011 version? Personally, personally, I would like it to be this version that you see here because I think it's the best actual design. Been watching TTA for the first time. My dad is great. Yeah, he was great. He was uh, EXE, who was the uh, the kind of proto version of uh, Exec, one of the Net Kings, and he was a lot of fun. <laughs> Still very proud of that. Um, Brawl Taunt 6, yeah, very funny. Uh, so, spoiler alert for Balancing Act. Someone loses their balance and falls. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The link didn't work? Which link didn't work, Ben Bob? Let me know. Wish you could have thrown my, uh, your character my way, hopefully in the future. Though. Oh, sorry, you missed out, Merger Vault. Uh, Merger Bolt Voltier. But if you would still like to support me and have a chance at getting some personalized art, you should check out my Patreon. Need a life-size Zeto plush. Somebody made me a life-size Zeto plush. It's pretty great. Still have it. Is there a way to showcase the versions? Uh, yeah, I mean, you'd have to go digging. Uh, if I do a proper poll on Twitter, I'll have a visual aid. But, uh, that'll have to be for another time. No TTA version? Yeah, I don't think I want to get sued. <laughs> no, thanks. Curbs biased up my... No, 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 because funnily enough, I didn't do this design. Uh, this one was done by Toxic Soul, uh, Michaela. She uh, she went ahead and made what is, in my opinion, the, the best that Kerberfers ever looked. So, uh, no, I, it's, uh, it's not biased for my own, uh, my own artwork, because otherwise it would be for, uh, some of the other ones. <laughs> I guess I could have the, the, no, I don't want to do that. I was going to say I could have the, the Brawl Taunts version of Kerberfer as an option, but, I mean, that's just a not as good, uh, version of the 2011 design, in my opinion, so. Yes, I'm still here. Finding it as an issue. Yeah, I know it'd be a whole kind of, you know, uh, event to have to do one, but I hope that I can at some point. It'd be really cool to. I've, I've, I've wanted to for a really long time. Brawl Taunt's curve is still dead outside Kira's window. Yeah, we'll make a uh, we'll make a paperweight of him, like the dead Yamcha paperweight. If you guys have ever seen that.
God's mentioning Brawl Taunts is how I literally tell all of my friends about you when I show off my icon on Telegram. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I try to forget, man! I try to forget! Have they buried him yet? Nah. They're, they're both, both, uh, Brawl Taunt's Curb and Brawl Taunt's Rinachan are, uh, just d d rotting carcasses in that universe. <laughs> Alright, looks like this one and the Tome Season 1, uh, version. Um, interesting. Okay. to network why won't i make an actual brawl taunts video i mean i have i've made two more actual brawl taunts videos 100 percent certified authentic comedy gold and if you don't like it maybe you just need to develop some taste That'd be kind of a killer villain line, though. I'll tear you apart and use what's left as a paperweight! I feel like that's probably been said at some point. It sounds like something that has been. Will there be any particular TOS for the Patreon tier arts? Uh, Kasai, elaborate. I would love to answer your question. But I don't know what TOS stands for in this particular case.
Quick question for Tome Shokan. Would a summoner character ever be allowed to exist within the... Um, I don't know. I want to say probably not, because I feel like that would involve, like, having to approve multiple designs. So summoning would be, like, you know, maybe perhaps, like, some kind of unfair advantage. Unless it was, like, a, like a duplication, like a Shadow Clone Jutsu type of thing. But summoning, like, other characters or something? Probably not. Probably not in the 2011 version. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of the Tome world, as it was. Oh, terms of sir. Oh, oh, what will and will not draw. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I am not going to be drawing anything that is not safe for work. If it's like fan servicey, you know, maybe something kind of scantily clad or whatever, like that. That's fine. But I'm not doing like straight up nudity or sex or anything. You know, um, anything too crazy. I would say. Um, I I did think about the idea of like doing that but honestly I don't I don't have a passion for it and I'm not great at it is the other thing because like you really have to be good at doing not safe for work stuff to like make a living off of that and uh, I ain't <laughs> so yeah but um, but I appreciate you asking How could I stick with one curb here? I love them all. You must choose one. There can only be one, even though there are multiple. Create like uh, Crete sub to the ten dollar uh, Patreon tier. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. I think yeah. Did you uh, did you uh, sub? I guess subscribe is that would that be the right uh, term? Uh, yesterday, um, I've been kind of ch periodically checking back and forth and stuff. So, what about summoning common monsters from the Tom Game World? See, okay, in in. Um, the RPG, as I'm sure you guys who have played it probably know, there's a few techniques that involve doing just that. Um, but those are also very particular uh, particular cases, and since that version has a lot more emphasis on the enemies, uh, the monster enemies, uh, while the 2011 series has very few that are that are ever shown. <laughs> Shadow Guardian statue would be a perfect paperweight. <laughs> Complete with the three different pieces that you can finagle together. <laughs> Anything restrictions in the safer work side? Um, oh, yeah, like vehicles and stuff. Well, the limit I'm having is that it's, uh, it's one character that you'll get a drawing of. Um... You know, if it involves something kind of additional like that, uh, I'd have to kind of do like a case by case, a case by case basis sort of thing with that to see how it goes. Da, 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 da. 
Molto bene. No problem. All good. I like this kind of like cloudy uh, space alien girl. She's very cute. Don't question me, what would, uh, if I wanted to get a friend into anime, what would I recommend to them to start out with? Ooh, like if they've never seen an anime before. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I think it would definitely depend on the person. If they were like, if they were young, I would show them Dragon Ball Kai. Um, if they were a little older, like a teen, I'd probably say uh, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad, uh, which is a personal favorite of mine. Um, and, uh, and you know what a recent one, because I thought it was super cool, was uh, Akudama Drive. Um, just because I thought it was like very accessible, cool, you know, American film. Uh, you know what? It's funny. It's kind of like um, what people see in the appeal of, like, Cowboy Bebop, but it was, it was a little bit more of, like, a modernized kind of take on that. Um, and also, it's a little shorter, too. And it's one, like, continuous plot line. I really like that show a lot.
It was my favorite element that I like to add to a character design, like maybe an accessory or type of hairstyle. Ooh. Um. Let me think. I would say that. Uh, in, I remember in college when I got big into uh, differentiating how everybody's eyes are, uh, and and then eventually also their facial features, because. Hair was a big thing when I was learning to do more designs in like high school, because hair is always, you know, a lot more extravagant, but differentiating um, facial features and particularly eyes is, um, that's always fun. I like that a lot. Um, and kind of a little, a little thing can sometimes be like jewelry, like, you know, earrings or necklaces and stuff, but I usually like to keep that type of thing very minimal, you know. Thank you to Junie Reeves, our newest patron. Very much appreciated. Oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, that's another good one to suggest to somebody. I would definitely agree with that. Oh, Naruto is not a perfect default anime, in my opinion. Not at all. It's it's way too fucking long to get people into. And like... And I know, oh, but One Piece, it's like, yeah, One Piece is also consistently much better of a series. Um, Fully Cooly? Um, Fully Cooly, I feel like it's better to see maybe like maybe like some anime first before watching that because it's it's really cool but it, in my opinion it's 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 so out there that it might be like whoa what the fuck like it's it's a it's a little too bizarre uh for it to be a first time one and that and then like once somebody's inducted then i'd be like check this out this is a fun little romp absolutely Most default anime to recommend to a non-anime watcher. Yeah, probably. I think Full Metal Alchemist is is likely in that kind of perfect middle ground um, as like a default sort of show. I, I would I would say that. Of all the, oh, thank you, John Knight. I'm very proud of how cute my VTuber is. Uh, out of all the characters I've voiced, who I think is the sharpest dressed character, and why is it Dezel? I mean, he's got, he's got uh, quite a bit of what, what? What do the kids say? Riz. He's got, he's got the Riz. Inuyasha's probably a good pick if it's my first anime. Um, you know, I really do like Inuyasha a lot. I don't know if that's another one I would put as a as a first uh, a first anime pick for someone. You know, um, 
there's elements of it that I think are great. There's other elements of it that I think, unfortunately, don't uh, think held up super well. It still holds a special place in my heart. There was a... Uh, what was it? Um, there was, there was like, recently... Like, semi-recently, I think I went back and I watched, like... A batch of episodes of that. Maybe it was last year? I think. I just, like, was kind of in the mood to go back and watch some more. I don't know why. Dragon Ball and Z are classics, but may not have aged well humor-wise. Yeah, some of Dragon Ball's original Dragon Ball's humor is a little, like, yee. Um, but it's still, it's still good. I think for better or worse, you know, it would really be interesting to see, uh, I wonder how many English speakers there are that are like, you know what, I'm going to watch Dragon Ball, like, all the way through, and they start with original Dragon Ball, and then, and then watch Z after that, because that, that feels like such a rarefied, uh, circumstance, you know what I mean, for, for North American fans, specifically. Make them watch Speed Racer. Are you talking like the original Speed Racer? I have not seen much of that show. I saw a little bit of like the 90s or early 2000s uh, Speed Racer series that they played on like Nickelodeon for a hot minute. And I was like, eh. I like the movie. I like the Speed Racer live action movie. I thought that was pretty good. Which tone character would have a PhD? Uh, Splat, because she's voiced by my sister, who is a doctor. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> I could see... Probably Webmaster. He's the most uh, hyper-intelligent, certainly, of uh, all the characters.
Love Richard Ian Cox because of Inuyasha. Yeah, he's hilarious. Specifically memories of watching DBZ Kai and Nicktoons waiting for Yu-Gi-Oh! to start playing. And not gonna lie, my only DBZ quest is to finish the Boo Saga. Yeah, you should go check out uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai The Final Chapters, which has all the Boo episodes. It's good stuff. That wasn't on Nicktoons. That aired on uh, Adult Swim. Uh, several, several years later. <laughs> Back in February, posted an image of all my favorite Pokemon from each game and type, but that list oddly didn't include a favorite shiny. What is my favorite shiny Pokemon? Ooh. Um, probably just because it was my first and it inspired the design of Softy is uh, the shiny pink uh, Celebi. Yesterday was Inuyasha's uh, birthday? Oh. Not sure if I understood the plot fully. Was Softy formed from a creation algorithm gaining sentience? Yeah, it was a uh, it was an AI sort of learning program that became fully sentient. Was uh, kind of the whole idea behind that. So, would I recommend Tome as a starter anime? Probably not, because it's not really an anime. So, all right. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. Uh, let me go. Grab a little snack. Uh, let's take a break for a bit. And uh, we will be back momentarily. We're back. There we go. I'm to reset this position. All right. Um, let's. Uh... Right here, let me just like give you all something to look at real quick. Uh... 
Excuse me. Just got myself a little snack for tonight. A little shot of some of the background characters we had in the first uh, Tomei 2Z movie. So. For cracking my neck like a fucking horror movie character. I've got goldfish in my mouth and I had to replug in my phone again. Sentient AI art bot gains sentience and immediately deletes itself out of love for actual artists. <laughs> Kerber for chewing ASMR. <laughs> Oh, here, you know what? Hold on. I'll show you guys. Um, so these are the, the three tiers of my Patreon that I just launched yesterday. So, just to start with, and I may add some more later, again, perhaps when Balancing Out gets into production, but for the time being, um, I've got $1 patrons if you want to just tip me a little something every month. Every little bit helps. Um, does not come with a reward, but uh, you know I had plenty of people ask, oh, even just a little tip jar one would be great, so I included it. Um, for $3 a month, you will get to suggest a Kerblog topic. Um, and... Uh, uh, which I will select on the 15th of every month. And uh, for $10 a month, uh, you will be entered into a raffle to receive uh, one personalized drawing of a character, of any character of your choosing, um, of which I've already got quite a few people who have uh, gotten in on that, which is amazing. Very, very grateful for that. So how much for a plush? A plush will have to be a separate thing. I hope someday. That probably wouldn't be a Patreon thing, though. Is Kerber for a species? Is he a little mushroom man? I ain't a mushroom man. I'm an imp. I'm a cyborg imp. Get it right. Get it right. I have to remember what all my <laughs> buttons are. I swear if you make a $50 tier, I'm claiming it. Oh, man. I'd love to do one that high if I had something to offer for it that would be justified. Cyborg imp with a mouthful of food. Yeah, huh? <laughs> we are currently, since we launched yesterday, we have 24 patrons. Which is pretty good. So, yeah, if you'd like to contribute a little something, uh, you are more than welcome to uh, to subscribe.
Fifty dollars for an idle animation commission raffle. I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know if there would be a whole lot of people that would want to pay fifty dollars a month for that, for for a chance of getting that. Because like ten dollars a month for the chance to get a drawing is one thing, but no. If I'm an imp, where are my horns? I was about to make a joke of them being under my hair, but they're not. No, my my uh, my little rabbit ear top two spikes in my hair are kind of like the equivalent of horns, I guess you could say. One-on-one <laughs> -on -one voice acting session, Patreon tier. That is asking for trouble. I don't think I'll ever do that. I've had some people ask, oh, why don't you like do like voiceover classes or something? And I'm just like, dude, I am not qualified to be a teacher. There's, there's, to be honest, Without getting too specific, there are people who are teachers that do voiceover that should not be teaching. And they just do it because it's like, it's kind of a cash grab. And they'll be like, sure, I'll teach you things and not tell you if you're terrible and charge you a shit ton of money for, you know, for, uh, what's it called? Um, excuse me. Uh, you know, that make, make you a demo that is, you know, terrible or whatever. It's just, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm just not interested in that shit. <gasps> if Curb is an imp, then does he drop beads when KO'd? I still haven't finished that quest in RuneScape. You know, it's funny, my director on... Uh, if any of you guys have seen the Trails of Cold Steel um, Northern War anime, which uh, is almost done. I think we've only got like one or two episodes left that have not aired yet, but I just wrapped recording that this last week, and... My director, Austin, uh, is a huge RuneScape fan, and he kept referencing RuneScape stuff. <laughs> Even that MMORPG I've never played. One more munch of goldfish and I'll be back to back to work. I got a banana too. Probably go get something to eat tonight. Go drive out and get something. I have to uh, put a few miles on my car. I uh, had some repairs happen uh, a couple days ago and I need to uh, make sure that everything is working in order before I go back to the mechanic on it. I worked with a new mechanic that uh, was very, very nice. Um, very helpful guy, so. Could you imagine myself doing Twitch streams and having channel points to toss objects to me while playing games? <laughs> um, I've had thoughts about that very recently. The main reason that I've stuck to YouTube since the beginning is because I just kind of like have re having everything all together in one place. That's just sort of what I prefer to do, personally. Um... I do. It's kind of a running joke with most of my friends. They're like, oh, you're eating goldfish again for the millionth fucking time? Uh-huh. What about OnlyFans? What about OnlyFans? Nothing for me to do there.
Tony Wanda. Was Wanda the name of one of the one of the uh, the goldfish like commercial characters? Let the man enjoy his fish-shaped cheesy crackers. Uh, funnily enough, they're the original kind. The saltine flavored uh, regular ones. Although I do have some pizza flavored goldfish as well in my pantry. What does Curb eat? Probably the same things as me. Because he's the most shameless self-insert character I've ever made. garbage downstairs and we'll be right back. Switch up the track a little bit. One second. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, let me rest for just a little longer before I get back to work. Any other questions you guys got while I'm hanging out here for a bit? You know, another thing I know I'll have to get used to doing as I'm looking back over on the uh, the Patreon page is I got to get used to making posts on there on a regular basis. Um, excuse me. Um, likely I will uh, I'll make a post ahead of time uh, as sort of a thread for the. $3 and $10 tiers to make their curb lock suggestions. And uh, we'll pick one off of there and uh, have it before each month. Because I want to try to do at least one curb lock a month. I have been really slacking on doing curb locks, like just so much. Because um, I just, I don't know, I, I haven't had like a whole lot of excitement and passion about it. So this is another thing that's to kind of motivate me to do that more. Because I used to love doing them, they were, they were lots of fun. There was a time in the in the beginning where I would do like a curb lock like every other day for a while. You guys, any anyone been around on this channel for long enough to like, you know, be there for that? <laughs> um, oh, you're not too late, Jacob. No worries. Um, 
We've gotten a decent chunk of them. I think we've done 10 so far, maybe? I'm not sure. Been watching The Ghost and Molly Mickey. Bow. Ashley Birch's new show. She's brilliant, as usual. I just pour the milk and cereal in my mouth at the same time. <laughs> now that's, that's the only way to have breakfast. Oh, heck, I was streaming and YouTube didn't notify you. That's okay, Dustin. That's no worries. I didn't think about it. How can uh, Curb type with his mitten hands? Well, you see... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I can I can show you. If you pay close attention to my, uh, my hands here, you can see that I have, like... A single little finger, you know, down here. I can't move. I don't have full, you know, hand tracking yet. But uh, um, yeah, so I can use my single finger, and that's that's usually how I type anyway. I don't I don't, I don't type like the uh, the traditional way, believe it or not. Um, I never really properly learned how to. Sad to say, maybe my wrist wouldn't be killing me as much. <sighs> but. Um, Can totally see me doing a fursuit of my VTuber model. Yeah, my uh, I'll make my my uh, bunny Sona. <laughs> my little hair spikies on the top of my head will become actual ears. That'll be next April Fools. <laughs> I heard of that guy who's in VR chat, furry who charges five hundred dollars to hug people in VR. I have not, but my God, that is a. Uh... <laughs> he must be laughing all the way to the fucking bank. <laughs> I do remember my Moscow, Moscow, do, 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 Raccoon animation from TTA, and then yes, from Tome 2011 as well. So that was a fun little uh, "You're the Man Now" dog. YTMND. Anybody remember that? Was anybody? Is anybody on here old enough to even remember "You're the Man Now" dog? Because goddamn, shit is ancient. Like I also charge us five hundred dollars for two DMS. I am scared to know what DMS stands for. <sighs> have you ever played Okami? Yes, yes, I have. I played. Uh, I think. Oh, what was it? Oh man, I can't remember if I played the original. PS2. Did they port it? I know there was a Switch port recently. Did they ever port it to any other systems? Um, I think I might have played it on the PS2. Um, oh, direct messages. Okay. I hope not unsavory uh, <laughs> direct messages, because ew. Um, yeah, but uh, I really I really liked that game a lot. I thought it was very cool. If any of you guys have never played Okami... Uh, yeah, it's on the Switch now, and it's it's a brilliant, brilliant, genius game. Um, <laughs> Moscow, Moscow, I don't know the freaking words. I don't know the freaking words. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. Okami was ported. Okay, then maybe it was the PS4 version. That might have been it. Yeah. Was it on GameCube? Well, I don't think it was on GameCube, was it? Pretty sure it wasn't. Balancing out music was so good with those melodies being incorporated into the movies. Uh, I don't know. I do want to have... So, the music that uh, was done for my thesis film was by uh, my cousin, uh, Luciana, who's a great musician. She's out of Nashville uh, at the moment. I forget what her... Oh, man. Oh, oh, her current band is... I think it's called, like, King Margot. I think. I, th I think. I'd have to go double check that, but... Um, she did the music for my thesis film, and I do want to license a song of hers for uh, for the movie because I want to have uh, kind of like, well, I did this, 
I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like, oh, I'm so original, but like, I did this before Guardians of the Galaxy and before Baby Driver, both of which did it infinitely better than my thesis film. But the whole idea is that the soundtrack is going to be whatever Frost is listening to on his, uh, his uh, little iPod music player thingy. So, uh, yeah, I, um, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, to, to pick out some songs by indie artists and singers and bands and people that I know that have done independent music and have some of that stuff as, as a bunch of the BGM, but I have to kind of look into the, the specifics of that, I guess. So not quite there yet. Yes. Okami Den for the DS. That was a sequel about, uh. Amaterasu's uh, daughter, I think, I'm assuming. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting tired a little bit, but I need to. I want to finish the rest of these characters. Oh, how many do we have? Let me see. All right, let me get rid of this shit. Ugh. Let's see. I've got eight left. And so far I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Rise. Rise. Suyosa. Oh, it was uh, Amaterasu's son. Got it. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, God. You can see my weird head cracking shit that I do. I want to stretch out a little more. Hello, legend, a uh, Duke of the Legend. All right, back to Kirby music. Excited to see the Banui today. Which Banui? Oh, what was that sound just now? Wait, what the fuck is it? Hold on. Sorry, my camera's like being stupid. Um, the sound that you heard was uh, me rising up my uh, my new electronic desk that I uh, I got a while ago, which has been much much better for my posture and my arms and. Just my whole body all around, really. So, had this for, uh, I think at least a year now. Yeah, basically, it's it's just like a regular desk, but it has um, a function of uh, the the table um, part of it, like raising up and down electronically. Um, so when I'm sitting, I have it, you know, uh, down kind of at my level, and then when I'm uh, when I'm drawing and I want to stand up and draw, I have it uh, raised up a little bit more, and then I, I tilt my um, 
uh, my uh, tablet screen forward a little bit so that I can uh, you know, better adjust and everything, so. Fun fact, I suggested Monica Franco to voice Vaggie in the Hasman pilot. Um, I don't have any recollection of doing that. But you know what, then again, um, somebody decided on a wiki page that I'm the executive producer of Hasman Hotel, which is not true at all, and I don't know where the hell that originated from, so I don't know. Fucking anybody can just say anything about anything. I still haven't even- you know what's funny? Monica is my neighbor, and I still haven't gotten to meet her in person yet. We've talked online before, Monica Franco and I. Um, she's super cool, I think she's really funny, but like, yeah, I've still never actually gotten to meet her before, like, in person. Somebody just commented on the Patreon ad I put out and said, just open up a spirit, a spirit consultation office. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's totally ethical, absolutely. All my problems will be solved. How does this fellow look so hurried? Do they need a, a worry? Do they need a hug? I don't know, Ender might need a hug. He looks like he's going through quite a bit. Who wants to give him a gushy hug?
Route 2. I don't, I, that's the thing. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even think I recommend... Because actually, this is another thing. Um, I didn't even audition for it. I missed the audition uh, for Has Been Hotel back when they did the original pilot. And... Uh, yeah, I, I don't even think I was like... I don't think I was communicating with Vivian. But, like we're we're cool. Like, we've, we've hung out a few times, and um, you know, I, I, I hit her up once in a while. But um, yeah, just like I hadn't been uh, keeping in touch much. Um, so, because uh, otherwise, I would have offered to help with the casting of it back then. Because um, I cast one thing that I did do is when we were in college, I cast uh, one of Vivian's um, thesis films, and I think. I think Bosco was in that. It was like Son of 666 or something like that. That was going long, 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 long time ago. Feel free to show my real face. We've all seen what I really look like. You're not going to give anyone a heart attack. Oh, no, I mean, like, I, I just have this this character just because it's fun. I'm not, like, afraid to show my real face or anything. Um, obviously, I've been using my real face on, like, the TikToks I've been making lately, if you guys have been seeing those. So... Oh, oops. Remember when Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh aired on Kids WB? I do remember that. I probably have a lot of old, like, tapes of uh, episodes that uh, I watched back in the day on Saturday mornings. Actually, I even remember when um, uh, Mega Man NT Warrior aired on uh, Kids WB back in the day. Um, there was... Um, Uh, I had to tape a lot of those episodes um, because I would get home from school by the time that they were like ending uh, and that was what led to uh, if you guys didn't see the tech the TikTok I did about like the name confusion and the miscredit and how I came up with Tony A. Campbell as a pseudonym that was uh, as a result of me taping old episodes of uh, you know stuff that aired on Kids WB back in the day so Yes, that's right. Mike Kovac and uh, Ed Bosco, who I just saw recently for the first time in a while. We got dinner with uh, some friends. Um, he, uh, yeah, he, he and them both uh, were castmates in the Has Been Pilot way back. Still have old tape recordings, archiving them. I mean, I'd, I'd love to archive them if I had the ability to uh, get the footage off them somehow. I have no idea how to do that.
Joker was gonna peel his face back and reveal that he's a men in black alien. <laughs> Miss Pokemon on free TV. There's a lot of free episodes on the Pokemon TV uh, thing on like the Pokemon website. So you can still watch a whole lot of episodes there. Oh, Epic Ife, this is your character, the mage? Very cool. Thanks again for donating. I have an Elgato and a VCR. I don't have a VCR or even a CRT TV, unfortunately, so... Oh, your best friends OC. Your two friends and you designed them together. Very cool. Nice. Have you ever played Dokapon Kingdom? No, I, I know of it. I like the artwork of it a lot, but I've never played it myself. What do I think of Fortnite? Not interested, but I have to listen to my Discord friends play it every fucking day, so I've just kind of resi I've resigned myself to my fate of uh, 
It's a thing that's in my life, I guess. Alt chemo. Have I ever brushed my teeth and drank orange juice? If I have, then how was my experience? Uh, the same as probably everyone, everyone else's. Utter disgust. I did that a couple times when I was a kid and I regretted it terribly. Which tone character is the most likely to be lactose intolerant? I don't know. It'd be kind of funny if Raccoon was lactose intolerant. That'd be hilarious because, like, Mac loves chocolate milk. But I don't know. That that would that would that head cannon would probably be up to him to figure out. So, what do I know? Every time I, I have anything in mind for anything to do with Raccoon, it's like an executive meeting between him and I, so. Excuse me. I dare not speak out of turn. What's the number one best Sonic game you know is 100%ly good? Uh, I don't know if any of them are 100%ly good because even my pick, excuse me, is um, has its flaws too. But uh, on the whole, yeah, uh, Sonic Generations was uh, one of the few that I went and played all the way through twice because um, I, I just enjoyed it so much. Felt it was a really solid game. Got my friends into Tome a bit ago. They fell in love with it like I had many moons ago. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I hope you guys like the uh, A2Z trilogy as well. I've seen the PR once and always trailer yet. I don't know what that is. So I guess no.
Yeah. Oh, and that's my other bros, Jello Boy. Uh, Jello Boy? Who is who is your who is the Jello Boy? I don't know if I caught them. Did I draw them already? Not sure. Which Tom character of the main cast would become a successful VTuber? Uh, maybe Nylock, if he chose to go down that life path. He's so good at staying in character, I could see him pulling that off. an online game die out due to various reasons you just still feel nostalgia for uh yeah the um crappy dragon ball z strategy game on the cartoon network website <laughs> not really VTuber Pog. <laughs> Next candy to puppy. <sighs> yeah, never played Toontown. Never played Pirates of the Caribbean online or Sea of Thieves. None of that stuff. Never tried them. Friend recently got me into Tome, and I haven't finished yet, but I love it so much. The friend, by the way, is the person who owns Ophelia and Orson, the cotton candy duo. Oh, very cool, Lee. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. Um, I hope you'll check out the, the Tome A2Z trilogy, since that's the best new way to, uh, to check it out. Personal opinion of Minecraft. Haven't played Minecraft. I'm supposed to be playing it at some point with Germ, but uh, never got around to it. Um, I made a Kerber for skin and everything, actually. Power Rangers Reunion Special's coming to Netflix soon. I would like to watch that. I saw the trailer for it, and it was really cool. The animation looks so tedious, yikes, yeah, I've been just doing 3D the past year. I respect it, the fact that you're doing 3D stuff. It's super cool. But 2D is where my heart is at, so... What do I think of Pokemon Go? Uh, never actually played it myself, believe it or not. I haven't had my own uh, personal experience with it.
Jello Boy is the green haired guy. Oh, cool, okay, nice. What are my opinions on opinions? Everybody's got them, just like everybody's got an asshole. Five left. Why don't I play what again sometime, Ratoon Network? I know I've never seen Wayside. I haven't drawn Whitney, aka Nitwit, yet. Uh, I don't know? Is that any... Oh, here's Whitney. No, I have not drawn her yet. I will be getting to her at the beginning of the next stream when I do these. Oops. What was your reaction when Devin Mas asked if uh, he could make Raccoon a VTuber? He didn't ask, he just went ahead and did it. <laughs> Wee says, while you play Minecraft while watching the stream. <laughs> Five left just for this stream. Dr. Stone's Season 3 English Dub will release on April 20th. Hell yeah. Very excited. Hoping that uh, Mr. Mungaka will have some more uh, stuff to do in the next season. I've been told that might be the case based on the manga material, but I haven't read ahead, so I don't know for sure. But uh, here's hoping.
Ever seen Monkey Kid? Yes. Love that show. I need to watch the uh, the new season. Somebody, somebody in the chat a while ago is telling me that like you could watch it for free on one of the apps uh, that it's on the the new season. But I tried looking into that and it was like asking for payment information. I'm like, oh, well, I'm not paying for a channel just for the one show. If that's the case, so I didn't look further into it, but. Uh, I want to see the new episodes for sure, maybe when they go up on the Amazon. Yeah, but I don't think the new, uh, the newest season is on Amazon Prime. I'm talking season four. I don't think it's up there yet, as far as I know. most expensive piece of clothing I own uh I don't know probably my my uh, suit like that I've used for like the kind of closet Reagan cosplay um, but I'm not even sure how much it is it might be like not a super expensive suit necessarily I'm not sure <sighs> I've never seen monkey magic I know what it is but I've never seen it I don't even know if it aired over here My friend is watching the new season of Ruby via TikTok, and I'm baffled at how she managed to do that. Did they upload the episodes to TikTok or something? I don't really know.
the number one Street Fighter game I've played. I remember not being completely fucking terrible at uh, Street Fighter 3, um, but that was many years ago. Excuse me. Ever saw the ocean dub of DBZ and Dragon Ball when it aired on Fox? Did it air on Fox at some point? Maybe in syndication? Yeah, no, I've seen all the ocean dubs. It's old episodes from way back. favorite thing about TTA uh, not much it was a fun thing to do when I was young and uh, it was it was nice doing like you know my kind of first foray into um, uh, you know like a long-term kind of project so the experience of it was good it's not good but uh, but yeah the experience of it was uh, it was a good time so craving Japanese cuisine now. That's when we need to have some udon. I could go for that. Heard of the game Tunic? Yes, I've seen uh, gameplay footage of it. It looks really cute. Would I get excited if there was more? Mob Psycho stuff. Yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't want anything like 
further if uh, one sensei is finished with it, but it'd be cool to see the uh, the Regan manga get like adapted as like an OVA or something. I, from what I've read of it, there seems like there'd be enough material to maybe do that as like a little one-off thing, you know? I've never played... If I played Tekken, it might have been for like a second at an arcade a long time ago. When did I get the idea to reuse the TTA track for Webmaster in the RPG? Was it just a spur of the moment idea? Yeah, just a spur of the moment idea. And I tracked down um, uh, this guy, Justin, who I went to school with in like middle school and high school. And uh, he still had the old discs with those MP3s that he made in like GarageBand and, and back then. And I was like, can I use this? And he's like, yeah. I was like, cool, all right, so. Cheshire. Oh, this is your, your friend's OC. Very cool. Nice. If there was a One Punch Man mob psycho crossover, that would be a little cracked out, but it'd be interesting to see.
Mob versus Tatsumaki, who would win? Probably Mob. Oh, right, she does have a tail. Right, my bad. Seems like a lot of you guys are friends with each other who each um, donated for some of these characters and things, so hope that uh, it's been satisfying to see them all uh, together in this thing. Hope I've done them justice as much as possible. Oh, you weren't able to add in one of your OCs, Lee? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know for sure yet um, if we're going to have another opportunity for the the third and final um, uh, Tome 2Z movie, because I don't know if I'm going to have any, like, place for any more characters, uh, sadly. But, uh, we'll see. Show your whole Discord group two-thirds of a tome in a marathon right before the window closed. Oh, cool. Nice. Whew, okay. Oh, getting sweaty in here.
Oh, uh, Zeroko, this is your character? Which part of the animation process do you love the most? Conceptualizing the characters, going through frame by frame, or the satisfaction of the finished product being out for the world to see? The last part. <laughs> um, which isn't really part of the process, it's just the goal. <laughs> uh, my favorite process is usually, I guess, the rough uh, animation. Watching Tome totally makes me want to draw my uh, an OC for it, or try to draw my Sona and the art style from it. Really out of here with some major brain rot. <laughs> Please, by all means, go for it. Do a Regan impression. You're in luck. It is I, Regan Ar Arataka. That's me. That's my best impression. <laughs> all right, one last. Here we go.
Are my arms and hands feeling better? Uh, no, they ain't. But I'm powering through it because I got fucking work to do and I got money to make and... Shit sucks, what can I say? King. God, there we go. And here we are. <laughs> How did I meet Malcolm Ray? Uh, I don't remember. I've actually never met Malcolm in person. Uh, only online, but he's a really nice guy.
Thank you, Blue Jay. Yeah, well, sorry, Blue Jay. This isn't my music. It's from Kirby Forbidden, uh, in the Forbidden Land. Forgotten Land. I always forget the name of this fucking game, even though it's my new favorite Kirby game. An idiot. Kerbifer and the Forgotten Game, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn it, fuck. God. Okay. Sweet. All right. Next time. Here are the remaining ones that we have left to do. Another 18 left. Okay, well, that uh, was quite a lot that we just got done. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot his, wait. Oh, you're right, whoopsie. Good catch. not see your character drawn uh you might have missed it in which case this stream will be archived so no worries uh or uh they will be drawn on the next stream which will be the uh remainder of the characters that we have left to get all finished Whew. um but yeah so i'll probably get to the rest of these uh maybe at some point this week um, and then I'd like to, if I have time and energy at the end of the next stream, I'd like to, uh, to actually show the placement of all these characters into the new scenes as if, uh, if possible. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, cause, uh, quite a bit to go through. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so... All right, well, um, I think that that is going to do it for now. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This was uh, so much fun. Uh, glad I had time to uh, get a whole bunch more of these finished. Uh, once again, if you would like to check out my Patreon and help support me directly um, for a couple little rewards, uh, please do. Please check out patreon.com slash Um And, uh, yeah, uh, as, as I kind of kick that off, uh, if you are already a patron... Um, please, uh, 
Stay tuned for when I'll be taking curb lock suggestions and raffling off the uh, monthly drawing to people, and I'll do my best to keep up with all that stuff going forward uh, so I can give back a little something to all of you for giving me a little something here. All right, folks. I will catch you all later. Uh, take care. Uh, go check out the Mario movie, too. I'm going to be seeing that on Wednesday. I'm very excited. And uh, take care. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.